Oh yeah. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Michael Palmisano here, and uh, time to do some more widespread panic. I know a lot of you out there, including Sean Miller, who's a subscriber over at my website, have been waiting to dig in to some uh, to some Mikey again and uh, the whole gang. If you guys are not familiar, if you subscribe to my website, first link in the description, you not only get all my courses and lessons. I'd love to be your online teacher, but you also get to post videos for reaction requests. And because you you guys literally support the channel, because I don't do Patreon, I try to do a couple of these a week. So Sean Miller, this is for you. This is Widespread Panic Space Wrangler, live from Austin, Texas. So I'm gonna blow this up full screen. Here we go. Have not listened to this track. Eight minutes and 43 seconds. Here we go. Okay, I didn't expect the phrasing to come in where it did right then. Um, that was weird. That was that was that was wild. Okay, so basically, you know, we have a C and F and a G chord. So we're in the key center of C major, but they're playing it as if G is one. So G mixolydian, so G major with an F in it, is the vibe, and that's what you see, Mikey, kind of doing there. You see him, you know. down to the F, G, F. That's what you kind of see. But the way he kind of came in was like over the F. That's, that's wild, let's keep going. So much cool stuff happening in here. I loved his voice when he went up the. Was it? It was on D. It happened in here. And in one part, you see Mikey just pedaling the open G string and just going. Really making that 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 uh, dominant kind of sound there. And you see him focusing heavily on D, the fifth of G, and you hear you hear it in the melody too. But this is just I gotta I gotta learn to let it play. Gotta learn to let it play. Rides on the Wrangler school. Keys. With a slingshot and a saddlebag a hammer down to Was that a... Did he go to a D there? Or is it just... He actually went to a D major there. If he did, that really solidifies 
G being home base because it makes that functioning five to one. So you can still sell G mixolydian all day, but then when you get that D major chord, you think G major, not mixolydian is one, but really it's just a five, just a five to a one. It pulls the ear towards this being the center instead of this. Love that staggered slowdown. There he is, mixing major and minor. Yes, yes, you guys know how I feel about this. So it's in G, going. And then. Mixing that minor third. So bluesy, keep going. I want you guys to listen in here. So you have keys, acoustic guitar, and electric guitar. And everybody, and bass obviously, but I'm talking har, you know, harmonically speaking, everyone's out of each other's way. So you have big strumming sounding. Big, huge open chord shapes, right? Being strummed very lightly and loosely. And then you got the piano tinkering around. But if Mikey were to tinker like that in the same way or play those big chord shapes, you'd get in each other's way. It would sound really muddy. So that's not what he's doing. You're hearing this, this kind of outlining of the chord changes with the melody. And also sometimes pieces of those chord tones but in different spots. So like G, F, C, right? Maybe a higher G, F, C. But the idea here is not the C, F, and G that he's playing and not what the keyboard's playing. Listen to it. If everybody was strumming and the keyboard was playing big chords at the same time, it wouldn't sound this clean. Listen to how everybody is playing in a different space with the same chords. Great bands do this. Yeah, there's that minor there again. So much cool stuff happening. Dave School's going up on the bass, switching to this new groove, this jam and G. Mikey going down, you know. And then 
then when he's getting down there, grabbing that B flat, that minor third, I can tell something cool, is, something very cool is about to happen. Major, minor, major, minor. You gotta listen for it. He's really scripted in that, like doing that. That's like the third or fourth time I've seen him do that. Like really outlining that G. He's really clean here too. Super duper clean. He's on fire. He is the bass and the drums and the percussion are on fire for this track. They are like this. A peaceful dream. Pedaling that open G. It gets off in the strangest place. People dance different with familiar grace. And the whistle. We're just hoping it is. We're just hoping it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. That's a bass run. That's a good one. It's found the place, giving away cold beer. Point something out real quick. I know I'm starting to stopping a lot, but when he's in this position for this G, there's his G, he's implying the F here and the C here. So root, root, major third, right? Something like that. But that's that's where he's getting all those little melody grabs. Root, root, third. Closest moves. Don't expect the ear to jump too far to get the change. It keeps the listener there. Very cool. Now we're dirty. Okay, all right. He switched to minor. Band's still playing major chords. He switched to minor, but then the groove just changed again. How many times is the groove gonna change in one song? Wild. I mean, he is straight G minor, right? Right, all this. No major thirds to be found. I'm 
pedal. Had a major six in there. I spy an E. And, and you know, and then the temp, it, the the groove changes again, and then where is he? E major, E major pentatonic pedal steel bend. After being, after be, or, sorry, um, G major. After being in G minor, I did, I did spy a, a major six in there when he was going down. That so not full Aeolian all the time. He is, you know, leading us back to Mixo, leading us back. Um, but minor thirds all day, and then it switches the groove, and then it's back to major. Um, and the use of the volume pedal is really interesting. Um, it's like he's almost using it as a wah, like it's a weird, like, like he's doing it constantly. I've never seen anybody do that. Dude, it you know so uh, key takeaways here, bunch of things. Um, okay, essentially G mixolydia, right? Your 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 basic your basic you know mojo in here is a G down to a flat seven or F and then over to a four to a C. So you can think of it in the key of C major, but you know it's G mixo is your thing. He's basically clean, mimicking the melody, creating lots of space between him, the acoustic guitar, and the keyboards by playing, playing clean melodic lines that connect the chords with very close chord tones, right? Close moves. And every now and again, he starts hinting at that minor with that B flat. It comes a couple times early, then it goes away, but he still stays clean. The groove of the song they stagger up, they stagger down a bunch of times, and then eventually, towards the end, they start to peak where he switches to straight minor, puts the gain on, and starts doing the volume pedal thing almost like it's a wah, like it's a tremolo. But I've never seen anybody actually do it like that. So it like sounds like a tremolo, like doop, 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 but it's but it's with his foot each time, and he's changing it, not just on the beat, but like moving it around like a good wah player would do. And then at the end of it, right, when the groove changes again, he starts introducing that major six to bring us back into the neighborhood of Mixolydian. So we, get, we think we're gonna have a major third coming. And then it cleans up with the groove, switches back to major, everything's bright and sunny again, and then they end the tune. I mean, that's how you take the listener on a journey. What I really liked about this too, is that Dave School's was really on it. The bass playing, the bass playing stood out on this one big time. And I really liked how the vocals uh, came in in unexpected places. Very cool tune. Who was it that recommended this to me? Sean Miller. Sean Miller, thank you so much. Love it. Definitely gonna be doing some more Panic down the road. And thank you for subscribing at the website and supporting this channel. For all of you out there, I know I mentioned it before, if you want to support this channel, you want to take lessons from me, it's just 10 bucks, first link in the description. I'd love to be your online teacher. But also, drop links in the comments because I want to know where you want me to go. Any genre is fine. I don't care what it is. I just like it live. Cheers. See you in the next one.